a vagina that came to life. In my notes, it was like someone who would essentially be my friend and who would like stick up for me. And they would, you know, wear sequins and drink martinis and just be all the things I kind of wish I was. I had to do a Christmas message to this organisation that I worked with and I couldn't be there in Melbourne with them. And so I was a little bit tipsy and I was with Elaine Crombie who plays Kitty. And I decided to send them a video and I was going to go, Merry Christmas, I'm Nakia Louie. And then I asked Lainey if she could pop up from under the table and say, I'm Nakia Louie's vagina. And then we could like sing a little like jingle. That's kind of how the idea of having um, a vagina that came to life came about. How Aboriginal are you? Like, half? Careful, that might be racist. Yes. No, you've got to choose whether you're offended or not. You're not offended, are you? I don't want to wear my Aboriginality on my sleeve very lightly. I think if, you know, if I'm putting stories up on a screen that are contributing to culture, then I need to be able to engage with the political issues as well. That's just part of the parcel for, for myself. Cute, are they your parents? You never told me you were adopted. Oh, you're part of the stolen generation. I was about 110 kilos in high school, um, theatre loving. I was the only Aboriginal kid in my year and I loved ice skating and I competed wearing like sequins and lycra. Um, so it was like, obviously, there was like some level of confidence there. I need to kind of say something that's worth being said and heard um, because, you know, it's no use to it's no use making something that just kind of falls in line or has been done before. Hey, your life's not ruined. It's just got a thousand times better. Oh yeah? How? Because I'm here now. And you don't have anything to worry about. <laughs>